Hey everyone, it's Ross, and in today's video, I am super excited because we are very close to eating our first fresh fig of 2019. And I figured because we're so close, it just would be a good idea to share a couple things with you guys, talk about a couple things revolving around picking figs, you know, like when to pick a fig, how to pick a fig, and then also protecting them. Because if there's a bird or some critter that comes around and gets this fig before I do, and it's the first one of the year, I'm going to be really upset. So let's look down now at the tree. This is a variety called St. Martin. And the reason why we're able to get a fig off of this one so soon is because this one was in a 10 gallon size pot. It's now in the ground, but it was in a pot in the greenhouse getting a nice little head start. You can see that this fig here has turned color and starting to swell. What does that mean? Well, it's turning color and it's getting softer. It's getting edible. The, the sugars are increasing. Um, this is really a nice sign that this thing is getting ripe. Um, certainly not there yet. We're going to get to that in a moment. But what this means mathematically is that about 100 or 90 days ago, this fig tree woke up because as soon as the trees wake up, they put out their brava. And with the help of the greenhouse, like I was saying, because we have a nice little head start back in here with that excess heat, they wake up sometime around early to mid-March. And that's really what we've done is turn on the heater at that time, which kicked this fig tree into gear, into growing, and it put out these brave before us. In fact, it had about seven along this branch here, but uh, I think two of them had fallen off prior. But right now I'm counting one. And you can tell it's a Breva, by the way, because whatever is below the leaves, that is a Breva. That's formed on last year's growth. That is the first crop. The second crop forms on the new growth above the leaves. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Five Breva is not bad for such a young tree. This tree is only about two years old from cutting. Again, the variety is called St. Martin. Very happy to have it here. Very happy to have it in the ground and very happy to see this Breva. So again, 90 to 100 days ago, this tree woke up, it formed this Breva, and now 90 days later, let's fast forward to today, and the thing is starting to swell. Now, how do we pick this when it is ripe? Well, it's very simple. What we wanna do is actually take this fig off by the, the stem here, and some figs have a long neck, some figs have a long stem. What is the stem exactly? Well. If I can focus the camera here for you guys, this is really just not a whole lot of fun dealing with this, but I guess you could see it better over here. This is the stem. So from about here to the branch, in just this little small section right here is the stem. Then we have the neck, which is about from here to about here. This makes it a bit easier to pick, and you want to pick it here at the stem because you wanna preserve the neck, you don't wanna pierce that skin. That's gonna decrease the shelf quality, the shelf life of our fig, and it's just a good practice, I think, to pick them at the stem. So that's how to pick a fig. When to pick a fig is really gonna be up to your taste preferences. Personally, and this is from experiencing, you know, over 100 varieties now of different figs, is that the longer you let them hang on the tree, the more the sugar increases, the better the flavor is. So be patient with this. Even though this is the first fig of the year and it probably will be for you very soon, you wanna be patient with this. The longer we wait, it's just gonna reward us that much more and you guys are gonna be hooked. You know, If you pick a fig at this point here, it's not ready. We really need to wait for this neck to really soften up because the fig ripens from the bottom up. So if the bottom is ripe, and you feel this and it's nice and soft, you gotta check the neck. Is the neck soft? Certainly not, it's very hard. In fact, the, the fig hasn't even drooped down yet. That's a really nice indicator. Also cracking. Um, the softness, the stiffness of the neck is really, really important for determining that. And what I like to do, because today is what I would consider day one. Now, what is day one, guys? Well, day one is the day in which the fig starts to swell. It was green and hard. It was the same color as the other figs we saw on the tree. But now today it's changed color. It's gotten larger. It's getting a little softer. Today I would consider day one because from day one to let's say day 10, 
that's the day I'm going to pick it. So maybe it won't take 10 days, maybe it'll take six days, maybe it'll take seven days. I like to keep track of this day and how long the window is from day one to day whatever it is, so that I know when I like to pick these figs. And I like to pick them at their perfect optimal ripeness because I'm growing them here in a challenging climate because I know how good they are. And if I'm kind of picking them early, I'm then in a way stealing from myself, stealing from my hard work, and I'm not rewarding myself nearly as much. So I think personally, it's important to keep track of that so that I know in the future, not just for this particular Breba, but maybe for the other Brebas, maybe for the main crop. In fact, depending on the time of the year, if it's warm, if it's cold, that number of days is going to fluctuate, you know, a couple days. But you can definitely get a nice little average there and figure it out. Okay, well, seven days from this point, I can come out here, pick it and be happy and have myself a really wonderful fig. Now, how do we protect this? So we're gonna use something called an organza bag. And I'm gonna to have to put you guys down, but this is an organza bag right here. This is a party favor bag that people use at weddings. You can pick these up on Amazon. You can get them at different, different colors, different sizes. This, I believe, is the, uh, I think this is about five inches by eight inches. Maybe six by nine. I think it's not quite six by nine, but essentially what we do here, let me fix the, uh, the tripod here for you guys. Yes, we have tripods now. <laughs> but there we go. So what we do is we take the bag and then we wrap this around the fig and go all the way up to the stem and then tighten this. And that stays on nice and snug and the critters don't bother it. And sometimes they will, depending on how hungry they are, depending on how much food there is, depending on what the critter is too. Sometimes they learn about what these figs are and they realize how good they are and then they start eating them. So it's a good idea to never let them know that these things even exist. <laughs> and I like to bag every single fruit that I pick purposely to protect them from the critters. I don't want to have to be dealing with them in addition to the rain. So that's something else we're going to have to deal with as well is that if it is raining at the time that this fig is swelling, it's important to keep that in mind because this fig may split. We do need to keep an eye on it, right? We have to be out here almost every day. We got to say, oh, is it ready? No. Nope. How about now? No. Nope. Well, if it does indeed split, we really need to keep an eye on it because that fig is then exposed to the elements, exposed to potential fermentations. It could spoil. Um, it's just not really a good idea. And that's kind of what I wanted to talk to you guys about today is showing you guys how to pick a fig, when to pick it, you know, wait as long as possible, guys. I promise you, you're not going to enjoy it if you pick it really early. It's just not going to be good. It's like any other fruit. If you wait long enough, you will be rewarded. And then also guys, get those organza bags on your figs. They really do help. You can also get yourself a net, but netting this whole area would just be <laughs> quite a bit of a challenge. Um, and dealing with nets is a bit of a hassle. So, you know, bagging each individual fig is also a bit of a hassle, but it's a necessary evil. You know, which one of those do I have to put up with? So. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this one. If you enjoyed it, please share it with your friends. Maybe you know somebody who likes figs. I mean, I'm sure they'd be happy to watch this one. It's only June 9th, guys. We're in the Philadelphia area. We're already going to be eating figs very soon. Also, you might want to get a greenhouse, guys, because that's the power of a greenhouse, the power of a variety that puts out a very early Breba, or even a fig that puts out a really early main crop, either one. But uh, yeah, share this with your friends, guys. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Check out the new blog post, rawstrategy.wixsite.com slash blog. We have all kinds of different content on all those different forms of, uh, of platforms, I should say. And then we'll, uh, yeah, we'll catch you for tomorrow's video, guys. Take care. I'm out.